Hey everyone, this is Blenderman911, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a rounded life bar for your Blender character. This is a game that I'm making, but I'm still working on it, so the characters and the walk animation aren't that great, but it's getting there. Anyways, the life bar we're going to be making is going to look something like this. It's going to have a round life display, which is also going to be shown as a percentage going to have a mana bar which is going to be shown as a fraction it's going to have the character name and also a third bar that you can use for whatever you want such as stamina or a shield now you could probably make a better rounded health display using scripting and such but this one looks pretty good and it works just fine so today I'll be showing you how to make it first thing we need to do is go up here to where it says scene Click this, add new, empty. Rename it to HUD, which stands for heads up display, and hit 7 on the numpad to go into top view. Now hit the spacebar, add mesh, cylinder. Change the vertices to 24 and deselect cap ends. Now hit SZ to scale it on the Z axis to about right here and back in top view hit space add mesh plane. Go in object mode and move the plane up to about right here. Make sure that the cylinder is still sticking out of the plane a little bit. Now back in top view go back to edit mode and what you need to do now is select all the edges of the plane and make sure that they're right outside of the cylinder so make sure that none of them are sticking in and I think it looks fine now hit the A key to select the whole plane in edit mode bring it up to right here so that the center point is right on the edge of the plane now hit tab to go back into object mode and replace the plane where it was with your cylinder selected, go to edit mode, either in edge select mode or vertex select mode. Hold the alt key and right click one of these edges and it should select the whole ring. Back in top view, hit E to extrude and S to scale it up. What you have to do is scale it so that you can't see the edges of the plane anymore to about right here. Now in edge select mode, select this edge skip two of them and select this one by holding shift and right clicking hit E to extrude an X to extrude it on the X axis rotate the edges if they're not straight and now add a loop cut by hitting control R add one right here and on the other side Now select these two edges and hit F and you will see that it creates a face in between. You might have to arrange the vertices if they're not straight. I'm just going to drag this out a little bit more. Alright. Now hold the Alt key and right click one of these edges. Select the whole ring. Hit E to extrude and bring it down. Now with this with this edge selected, hit E, extrude it all the way to the end, and rotate it, scale it on the Y axis, and create another loop cut, Control R. And same thing, select these two edges, hit F to create a face. Just arrange the vertices if they're not straight. Alright, now do the same thing. Hold the Alt key, right click to select the whole ring and extrude it down. We have to repeat the same process one last time. So go back to edge select mode. Select this edge, extrude it once. Extrude it a second time and bring it to about right here. Rotate it and scale it on the Y axis, SY. Now extrude it two more times and rotate it as you go. 
If you want this a little smoother, just extrude it more times or add loop cuts. Now select this edge and this one and hit F to create a face. I'm just going to move this vertex around because it's a little too sharp right there. Now once again, hold the Alt key, right click, E to extrude only edges. Now hit the left mouse button to get out of that and hit W, Merge, Collapse. Go into face select mode by selecting this triangle. Select these two faces and hit F and you will see that it merges them together. Now do the same thing with these two. Select them and hit F and these two. So you should have something that looks like this. Now go back to your plane that you created. Let me bring this up. All right. Hit Shift D to copy it and bring it right under so that you have two planes, one on top of the other. On the first plane, select it, go to the Shadings tab and add a new material. I'm going to put it the color I want my life. So I'm going to put it green. On the second one, make it red. Now go here. We need to add the mana bar, space, add mesh plane. Do the same thing that you did with the life bar, which is scaling the edges until they're right inside the health display thing. Go into object mode and bring the plane up to about right here. And you might have to readjust the edges. Now hit A to select the whole plane. And do the same thing, bring it to right here until the center point is on this edge. Hit tab to go back into object mode and replace it. Now shift D, do the same thing, bring it right under. And now select both of the planes, both of these, shift D and bring them to right here and scale them down. All right, now on this one, I'm gonna add a blue color for the mana. And right now I'm just adding really basic colors to them, but in the other one that I showed you, I quickly made textures in Photoshop so that it looks a bit better. But we'll do that in one of the other tutorials. The second one, the one on the bottom, add new and make it red. This one, I'm going to make it a yellowish color for stamina. Go around right here. And the bottom one, make it red. Now I'm going to select the display thing. And go to the editing tab. Select set smooth. So now you should have something that looks like this with the life and the mana. The center points should be on the edges right here and on the bottom right here. And you should have something that looks like this. Also, one more thing right here. It goes down a little too sharply. So I'm going to round that off a little bit. Hit Control r to make a loop cut and scroll your mouse wheel up two times. And it, you will see that it adds two more loop cuts. And I'm just going to... Drag it out to make it a little rounder. If you want it even rounder, just add more loop cuts. Now you just have to readjust the planes. Alright, so this is going to be the end of this part of the tutorial and I will continue in part two.